Hi, beautiful. Today we have Miss Charlie. It's Amelia. Thanks for being here. Thanks icon. for doing my hair. Of course. So we're doing Charlie's hair today, obviously. We're also gonna be going through her TikToks and her Instagram, and we're gonna deep dive into them and just find out what was going through your head behind these posts and what they're all about. <laughs> I post a lot of like things that are just like, oh, let me take a video real quick. And then I look back and I'm like, hmm. It's weird. I found that out last night when I was looking through them. I it think was, it's not that hard to tell. It was an adventure. I'm kind of nervous. <laughs> All right, so are you ready to begin your makeover? I'm very ready. Okay, let's do it. So Charlie is now all draped up. I know from your video that we just did, you've done a lot and you're kind of down for anything. Yeah. Which I love that. So I checked out the back of your hair. You definitely have a little bit of root. We didn't dye it to the root. What did you do? We just like did close because when you have to do it to the root dye, you have to like bleach it in two parts or something. Yeah and no. You can use different developers on different areas. That way they both lighten at the same time. We could always retouch it and bring it up a bit, this color in the back, and like refresh it. And we're thinking like what color today. I've definitely tried a lot of colors as you saw yes. and my favorite was definitely like bright pink. Yeah, me too. I also like that it's really bright so you can actually see it underneath. Yeah. Like I can envision you with the whole e-girl bang moments. Like what do you think about that? I mean, I think it would look sick, but I want you to feel confident about it. I mean, if I don't want to like pressure it, you into anything. I think it'll look good. I would love it. It's gonna be a big change because it's in the front of your face, mm -hmm. so it's gonna look like pink from the front, okay. and I think that's really cool. And you're gonna have the underneath showing too. Like, it's not gonna be super chunky in the front. Like, I don't really love that. So I kind of want to make it like kind of skinnier and then kind of thicker down here. Yeah. So you have like the underneath of the front and just a little bit up here. Yeah, I like that. And then for the haircut, I'm thinking of just kind of giving you a little bit more texture. Cause right now it sits right here, all your hair. And I think you need more movement to kind of liven it up a bit with the color. Also, if I add like layering and texture, the pink underneath will show a lot more because oh. there'll be like kind of like dividers in between. That didn't make sense. No. But just trust me, it'll look okay. great. <laughs> you ready for this? I'm ready. Okay, let me mix up the bleach. That no scares me. It'll be great. We're gonna use Olaplex today to make your hair very safe and your hair's not gonna fall out. Okay, I feel like I trust you because Thank you're you. the person Thank you. to tell. I'm the person to trust, I guess. All right, let's do it. Kelly, we sectioned out your hair. We did a little sort of a halo section where it's a big circle around your head and this will all be bright pink. I'm gonna go up to your roots like we discussed and it's gonna be really cool. Charlie. We're halfway done with your hair. Okay. It's lightening really well. It looks amazing. You have so many foils in your hair. I like it. Good. I think we should keep it like this. Your hair might fall off, but it's okay. It's okay. Happens. Like I said in the intro, I went through your Instagram and your TikTok. There's a lot of interesting things. A lot of things that need explanation. I am a very creative person. For I just sure. like do my best to really just envision the art. Yeah. Yeah. With you know, I get a it. camera. I like I don't know if you would though. Oh no, I do. Like, no. I get, no. I feel like it's very advanced. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah. Okay. It's a lot. So I'm gonna fry your hair off. Okay. And I support that. then we'll just call it a day. Awesome. All right, here's our first one, which is, I feel like a deeper one, which I love. This was so amazing. You're spreading body positivity. I like to post a lot of awareness about a certain subject when I'm feeling more down about myself. I think it was the night before, I was just really struggling with like how I looked and I felt like if I'm struggling, there must be a lot of other people that are struggling with the same thing. So yeah. it would be good to like, just post a reminder that like everyone looks different. There's no perfect way to look. So I feel like it was just important to put that out there just to kind of remind everyone because sometimes you forget no matter how hard you try mm -hmm. and I love that you're so young but you're still using like social media to spread awareness about things yeah. which I think is so important there is so much hate and people calling girls skinny and fat and like they all look amazing but they're yeah. just being ridiculed on a daily basis and I'm sure you've gotten that before and it's really really sad I just thought that was a cool post that I really wanted to bring up mm -hmm. with you and I noticed that you post that a lot I think it's so amazing you're just a sweetheart. So I hadn't posted on Instagram in a while. I was at James's house mm -hmm. and I was like, why don't I post on Instagram? So I got to a wall and I took these and my eyelashes looked really long. 
So I obviously wanted to capture that. So you need, yeah, you definitely yeah. need a picture of that. So I feel like I captured it pretty well. They do look very long. Very they do. Beautiful. Is that and mascara then, on those or? Yeah. Just, okay. And then, so not natural. Let's, not natural. Let's not. <laughs> Don't get it twisted. No. Then I had a coffee, as one does. What if I looked in the straw and took a picture? So I did, and then the side, and then I ate a bagel, and I had the but, bag, but, but I didn't have the bagel. So I just took a picture of the bag, you know? I yeah. don't know if I really know. Just like show people. Like, that you ate the bagel. Yeah. That makes sense. There's the napkin. It was there. almost poetic the way you positioned them all. Yeah, I love slides. It was definitely like a story. And I, I have so much it. to say. You do, in, in the form of empty Dunkin' bags. But that's like the most important. Yeah, for sure. This one. Okay. I have questions. Uh -huh. You wear jeans with everything? She's wearing jeans today, guys. I grew up in a dance studio since mm. I was about five years old. Up until like two years ago, I didn't leave my house other than dance class or dance competitions. Mm. So I was always wearing just leggings and like a shirt or a sweatshirt or a sports bra or something. And then I had to start going out. And then I was like, oh, blue jeans and a shirt. Perfect. Works with everything. <laughs> Figure it out. Whatever. I do the same thing though. Like literally, I'm wearing these exact same jeans right now. Like people say like, oh, Charlie dress is basic. Like, yeah, I know. It's like, <laughs> if I were wanted to dress better, I would get myself a stylist. I was gonna say, do you have a stylist? No? Obviously not. <laughs> I feel like we can tell. Calling me basic doesn't hurt my feelings, like I know. Yeah, like I 100% am. I but. could change it. So that's it. Thanks yeah. for explaining that. Of course, I feel oh. like it's very important. This is actually my alter ego. Okay. This is Charlie with an E. Oh, okay. And Charlie with an E wears hats. She is frat boy-esque. Like I feel like she would play football, but she doesn't. Yeah, so. lacrosse probably. Oh, definitely. You're definitely lax, bro. Yeah, like. What do they do with the stick? They're like. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Cradle. I was really just feeling myself right there. Wait, okay, so this one yeah. was wild. How do you make your body do that? Like that hurts, doesn't it? In my home studio, we have like an acro room that has like spring floors. So it's mm. like a little bit softer on your head. My friends and I would always just go in there in between dance classes or during acro class or like whenever we were bored and just like flip on our heads and stuff. So that's like very normal. And sometimes I forget. I'm like, oh geez, I totally forgot. I can like balance on my head for like an hour. Yeah, that but one, it's so much fun. That one made me really nervous. I think she's gonna break her back on that one. That was on a wood floor, wasn't it? Yeah, it was right here. You just like put like a, something down to balance your head on? No, there's no safe way out. But it was really cool. Yeah, I like the way it turned out. So mm -hmm. I thought this was amazing. Do you just do that like every night? It's usually when like no one's here. I like to dance by myself. I have fun doing it, so I try my best to dance. And you don't and still like compete. Well, competitions were closed this past year, uh, but I do, I still have two years left to be able to compete. How is that gonna work with all the fans? I don't know. I feel like it's because if I do good, it's rigs, but then if I do bad, I'm just gonna get made fun of. So it's like, maybe I just won't be scored, but like I can still get to like perform because performing is my favorite thing. I don't really care if I win or not. Okay, this one is a good one actually. I want to talk about your nails specifically. Okay. And how that journey started. Do you come up with them? I let whoever's doing my nails kind of like take control and I like say what colors they want. In this one, we used the Arosa, so I was like, let me do it for an Arosa post. But then what happened was I picked the nail polish off my thumb and I had to repaint it, which is why it like looks bad. And then I tried to do one like really cute, like close up of my face. That was not as cute as I thought it was. And then Rebel again, just because I feel like she deserves to be in all my pictures. Yeah, it really added to the photograph. I feel like it kind of accented the color of your nail polish, like the brown with the blue. Yeah, no, I like that a lot. Was that kind of what you were thinking? No, I just wanted okay. to give her like her time to shine. Yeah, totally. Why are you guys hitting each other? So you know the thing that's like, I like your cut, G. No, I don't. So you say, I like your cut, G, and then you smack your friend in the back of their head. And are you brushing your teeth in this? No, I was trying to wash my <laughs> hands because we were just about to cook, but there was no soap left. Oh, so then you just started smacking each other in the head. Yeah, but yeah, they took my sense. phone. So I always just leave my phone places like open. Something about that just doesn't feel safe for you. What are they gonna do? Post this? Post I don't know. anything mind. on your account? Yeah, whatever. I think it's fun. This one, I actually have a perfect explanation for. I was adorable. My real question is, do you just find these in your phone and then one day you just decide this is the one for today? Um, well, I was scrolling through my old pictures mm. and then I posted it on Twitter. And then I was like, this needs to be seen on Instagram. So then I posted it on Instagram. And there's no caption either, so I love that. No, it says me. Oh. 
Just kidding, there is a caption. There is a caption. It's definitely you. I really like these glasses, and yeah. I think you should bring them back. Those were actually before I figured out I actually needed glasses. Mm -hmm. These were style glasses. They're pretty cool. Yeah, I got them at Claire's. Do you wear glasses now? I don't really wear my glasses, because by the time I take my contact out, what do I need to look at? You well, know? I mean, I think you need to get these glasses back. And I can see perfectly fine out of one of my eyes. Yeah. So it's like, how bad is it? Why do we have two eyes? Yeah, I can just use the one. Yeah. It's fine. I get that. Are you bringing the dab back? Well, I've been doing it a lot, but no one seems to really want to bring it back. Do you want to dab with me? Or you just do one? Well, I just posted some really, really good pictures of myself that I was like, I thought were really cute. And then I was like, why don't I post some ones that maybe don't look as cute? And then I thought my hand looked like a chicken. Mm -hmm. So I decided to like really capture that. Yeah, that was the, the picture I had a lot of questions about. Is it like a dance hand? Like you could do this and dance? No. I hope not. But it doesn't look that like, good. I feel like that's the point. I might still go back and look at more if I have no. time today. No, that's okay. But I realized there's a lot of them and I can't go through them all. Yeah, no, it's totally fine. I feel like you shouldn't have to look at. Okay, I won't, I guess. I'm just saving you. So you got to see some of the highlights from my social medias. Are you closing this for me? Well, this segment. Oh, thank you. You can keep going. I don't yeah. want to do it. I just kind of wanted to let you guys know, like, make your Instagram you. Just post what you want. Charlie, it's easy for you to say when you get like five bajillion likes with like a straw. Yeah, but you don't look at the likes. You look at the content. Ugh. And the content's quality. I appreciate you sharing all that wisdom and Yeah, knowledge. I feel like that was a lot. I'm kind of proud of myself. I feel inspired and grateful I got to hear all that from you because now I'm going to go and post really awful. I already awful took pictures of me with the foils in that I'm going to post oh. when this comes out. Perfect. I'm so excited. We're going to continue her hair color and it's going to be a little while and we'll check back. Hey, Charlie. Hi. Hey. Hey. Hey, I'm sorry. It's okay. You'll get your license one day. Um, so my hair's blonde. I have a reputation of making everybody blonde. Oh. I wasn't gonna tell you until we were... No, it's fine. ...done, but you already saw yourself. We're going blonde. What about the purple? No. Okay. okay, but seriously you guys, I am working my way around her head right now. You can tell that she had a little bit of darker dye on her ends since there's a lot of orange coming through after the bleach, but that's fine. We're gonna do the magenta. It's gonna all be covered up. It'll be great. We also did all of her roots back here. You could turn your head a little bit. And now we are just getting that rest of the purple out of her hair from what she had beforehand today. And we're lightening with 20 volume and Olaplex and just trying to get a clean lift on that as much as possible. I think it's still gonna have a lot of different tones going on by the time we rinse this all out, but it'll all be even once it's done. Then on this side, we're just waiting for the rest of these to process. And then I will go in and do the purple ends on this side and finish it all up. We'll do a little root shadow, a little purple, and we'll finish it up for the color portion. And then we'll go on to the hair. Oh, poor Charlie. <laughs> I'm like, let me get a shot of this. 